Will the eVTOL dream become a reality? The dream that hundreds of quiet, efficient aircraft will deliver passengers to their urban destinations in a matter of minutes? Joby founder Joe Ben Bevere thinks so. And what I realized in, when I was in college was that with electric propulsion, we could build a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that was dramatically quieter than traditional aircraft. And this aircraft is the realization of that dream. The aircraft is the Joby S4. It's a tilt rotor eVTOL designed to hold a pilot and four passengers. It can cruise at 170 knots and has a range of up to 130 nautical miles. The aircraft combines traditional carbon fiber wing and control surfaces with six electric tilt rotors. Fly-by-wire flight computers take control inputs and convert them into digital signals to manage the S4's multiple flight and thrust modes. And for redundancy, there are three fly-by-wire computers. The system fulfills one of Joby's primary mandates, that the aircraft be easy to fly. Chief test pilot James Buddy Denham worked on developing the flight control system using what he learned working on the Lockheed Martin F-35 project. It really boils down to give the pilot what he wants for the last hundred years, direct control of flight path, speed, and direction. So speed is on the left-hand side. It's go fast, go slow, center detent, hold speed. The right-hand side, if you push forward, the houses get bigger, pull, pull back, the houses get smaller. Left is left, right is right. That's all you have to remember. Right now, Joby is remotely piloting the S-4 for flight test at the company's Marina, California facility. So far, more than a thousand hours of flight testing have been logged. Also in Marina, composite components are made using state-of-the-art robotic tape placement tooling. There are two autoclaves for curing the components under specific high temperature conditions. Battery and propulsion components are assembled and tested at Joby's San Carlos facility. Yet another site in Santa Cruz has what Joby calls the Whirly a circular test track for testing engine and propeller service life. Joby's business model is vertically integrated, which means that the company controls every part of the aircraft's manufacturing and operation. In effect, it will sell S4s to itself, then use them as shuttles under the Uber-style business model. Joby's aiming for an entry into service by 2025, there are a lot of challenges to overcome to get there, but Joe Ben is optimistic. We're so excited to bring this technology and this experience to, uh, to people around the world where uh, you can pull out your phone and uh, with just a click, uh, get a ride in a Joby aircraft. Uh, we're so excited to be uh, launching that in just a few years. Tom Horn, AOPA pilot.